So if you're really struggling with product research, how to find a profitable product to put onto Amazon so you can start your Amazon FBA business and start making passive income, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be going over my step-by-step -step process and how I do product research using Helium 10, how I can find products that are going to be profitable with not a bunch of competition. So if that sounds interesting to you, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I will be releasing step-by-step -step tutorials multiple times throughout the week on how you can start your Amazon FBA journey along with me today. Now, really quick, my name is Baron, and last month we did over $80,000 in sales for my Amazon FBA business. And that is only possible because I know how to do product research, how I can find profitable products, and how you can find products that are actually gonna make you money and don't have a ton of competition, because that is very important. You can find profitable products all day, but if everyone is already selling that product, it's going to be very hard for you to put your, um, even if it's an innovative product, even if it's better than the competition, there's still a lot of competition, and so your product's going to get lost on page 50, page 20, wherever it is, it's not going to get seen because everyone's already selling that product. Now, another thing, product research and the process of finding a product, going through Helium 10 and looking at all of the products, all of the keywords, all of the data is an ongoing process. You're not gonna find a product right now, right here. You have to be looking for products, doing product research hours every day, doing product research, looking for a product actively. And once you find a potential product, you wanna take it to a Google Sheets, take it to your notes, take it wherever it is. You wanna write it down, have links, have the specific keyword, the product, how profitable it was. And you wanna be compiling a bunch of data so that at the end of the week, end of the month, the end of your product searching is you have a bunch of products, you have a whole list. And now from that list, we can actually go and look at the best product from all these products and pick the one that we want to actually put on amazon.com. So with that all being said, let's get into Helium 10 and specifically how to find a profitable product using the black box keyword method. All right guys, so we're on black box and the first thing we wanna do is come over to product research and hit black box. We're on Helium 10, so we wanna to come to black box. So with black box, this allows us to look at products on Amazon and get data from it. And so we have the product method and we have the keywords. And specifically with the keywords, this is where I have found a lot of success with finding new products. And so um, search volume, how much do we want um, the keyword to be searched per month? I suggest at least 10,000 searches per month or more. Um, monthly revenue, at least 10,000. Um, the higher we go, the harder it will be to stay in the stock. Like let's say you have a small starting budget. It's gonna be very hard for a small starting budget to be able to fulfill the demand of 5,000 units for a $40 product every single month. So you wanna say anywhere from 10 to you know, 50,000, even slightly less. But once again, we're gonna leave it open-ended so we can get more and more results. Now the price, $20 upwards of 70. Once again, the higher you go, the more it's gonna cost for your starting budget. And so if you have a small starting budget, it makes it harder. Review count, max 500 reviews, just so this will allow us to have um, newer products because if you have 1,000 reviews, 2,000 reviews, 10,000 reviews, the products have been there for an eternity. So 500 reviews is still pushing it. But once again, um, we wanna have it not super strict to where they don't show us any products, but you know, semi to where we can see a good amount of products that will still be profitable and still not have a ton of competition. Now, speaking of competition, we wanna make sure that we scroll down. Don't care about review rating or word count, but we wanna scroll down to the competitive review and we wanna have at least two competitors making more than $10,000. Now, this is good because if just one person's making it or, yeah, if just one person's making it, then, I mean, we wanna we want see at least a couple of people making money. You can even go over to three, four, five. Um, we don't want everyone to be making money because it could potentially be more competitive. But once again, we have the review max at 500. So this will allow it to still be competitive um, for us to be able to enter. Hit search and it's going to pull all the data from Amazon. And once again, we wanna be making sure that we have good search volume, not too many reviews, good price and good revenue. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for words that we are not super familiar with and words that for more complex products or even newer products. Quip, I'm not sure what that is, but 
So we can just open it, view on Amazon. And what we're gonna do is have a bunch of tabs. Um, Mahomes, Mahomes jersey, we're gonna skip that. Valentine's Day, super seasonal. We don't wanna touch anything that's super seasonal. KN95, that's gonna, um, I've tried selling K95 masks. It's just super, it's just too hard to get in because the PPE equipment is too highly regulated on Amazon now. Um, Valentine's Day blanket, once again, skip. Um, get well gifts for women, girls, Valentine's. We're skipping a lot of these. Lap pull down bar, um, Pilates bar. And once again, we wanna open a bunch of links to um, keywords that we are able to that we're either not too familiar with or that look new. Okay, so the cocktail curl, cocktail smoker kit right here. This seems interesting because it's a kit. Um, they're making decent revenue, 46,000 per month. Um, searches are really good at 14.5 and we're going to open it in a new tab. And we're gonna get at least two more products. So we'll go to the second page and once again, we're trying to get a couple of products so that we can we look at them, each of them, and we can analyze them um, and have a good enough, instead of going back and forth to the search to analyze them, we wanna have a couple links open so we can do everything succinctly, if that makes sense. Gabby's Dollhouse, get that. Bape hoodie, this is actually funny. My brother wanted a bape hoodie. Um, I think it's like the knockoff bape hoodie because bape is extremely expensive. And I mean, if you want to knock off, hey, it is what it is. Um, decorated bowl, strawberry boxes, um, fold three case, Samsung fold three case. So I'm seeing this twice. I'm assuming this is a case for a new Samsung phone. phone. So we're just going to open this up and let's just get one more link. Cincinnati Bengals sweatshirt, Super Bowl just happened. Um, Rams, Super Bowl just happened, super seasonal. We will do the Yoni Steam Seat. Not exactly sure what that is. Sounds interesting. So we will open it up. Now, with all the links open, now we can look at each of the products one by one. Some will be good, some might not be good. They might all be trash, but we'll see. For the Quip, what is this? Uh, this is that toothbrush. Okay, so this is branded, so we're just gonna X out of it because this is for a specific brand. Next, we have the Cocktail Smoker Kit. So once again, Okay, so starting out, we see that there are seven reviews, two reviews, 138, six. So this is a very new product. This is a very new product. The highest so far I see is 151. Um, this product doesn't really um, fit in along with this one as well. We will keep, yeah, so all, okay, so, th so this is the highest one at, at 2400 reviews but for the majority the reviews are very um low so that is very good sign we're going to open up x-rays to see a a bigger um viewpoint of the market and so with x-ray the things that you want to be looking for once again we have the search volume we already know that at 14.5 total revenue is 1.5 million which is very good so that means there's a lot of money in this potential market average revenue 32,000 doesn't matter too much because some products will be very high some products will be making no money Average price, $82. That is, what, that is very important. And then essentially we wanna come over, average reviews, 157, that is very important as well. We're gonna come over to the review count and we're looking at the review count relative to the revenue. So seven reviews makes 5,000, two is making 3,000. And one more thing I forgot to mention, the sponsored, SP, 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 SP. These first four we're going to ignore and we're going to start from the first organic spot or rank number five. Or number five. And with this guy, he has 151 reviews and he's making 135,000. 53 reviews, 160, 12, 3,000. 100 reviews, 20, 20 reviews, 26,000. And so on and so forth. So we can see already this is a very, very new product and very profitable. So if we were to somehow to come and look at the potential sellers, make a better innovative version doesn't have to be super innovative, just meaning that your innovation could simply be having a product picture, the first product picture that shows everything in a light that the customer is more likely to buy. Innovations in increasing the, per increasing the perceived value and making your listing better does not always have to be super, super you know, difficult. And so one thing that we can do is actually just click on the find suppliers on Alibaba and see exactly um, what people are charging for this product. 
And so we can just click view more in Alibaba, open the link up and see exactly what we can get in a kit, how we can, you know, potentially even get a manufacturer to include more items into this kit because it's very profitable, maybe sell it. And it's probably gonna cost a little bit more than what everyone else is getting it for, but the perceived value of that included kit that has everything X, Y, and Z is going to be better for the customer, meaning that you're going to have a lot more people going to your listing because you are the premium version, have everything included, meaning you could price it higher and ultimately have a very, very high uh, margin product. So what we want to do is obviously go through Alibaba, contact 20 to 30 manufacturers, get the best price, the best materials, and essentially get the best listing we could potentially make and put on Amazon to get the most sales. Once again, it's going to be a premium version, meaning we're going to have everything included at a premium price, which will allow us to get very good margins and be very, very profitable. Now, considering that this product is so new, it gives you a very, very uh, high chance of succeeding because we can see that a lot of the new players are still making very good money. Two reviews is 6,000. Four reviews is 20,000. Zero review guy, he's been up here probably a couple of days, already 3,000. So it's very, very, um, it's, look, it's looking not, it's honestly not looking too bad. Four reviews, 30. One review and zero reviews, one in 2,000. And once again, these are new players who are all making a lot of money. Once you see a product, and this is already a very profitable product, what I'm going to do is take the keyword, copy it, come down to my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to enter the keyword into it. The search volume was um, 14,500. The link for the product um, with the keyword is going to be this link right here. And we're just tracking our data because this is very, very important to track the data, not to just get the data, but to track it so that once you have, um, you've done product research for a couple of days, a couple of hours, whatever it is, you can come back and look at all of the specific keywords, all of the links, and see what exactly is making money and what is going to have the best, the best chance of success if you put a product into that category for you succeeding. And so that's very important. I think the match review was... Um, we'll just say 1500 Once again, you, you want to be very specific, but um, new products making money? Yes. With exclamations, because they were new products who were making money. And so once again, track your data because you want to pick the best product. You don't want to go with the per first product you see. You want to pick the very best product. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the next product, which was a vape hoodie. And I'm actually just going to ignore this completely because also I don't want to potentially um, get any copyright issues or any any of that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with this category and I don't wanna get, I don't wanna be infringing on people's copyright. It's that simple. Um, so we X out of that. And the next one was the Samsung Fold 3 case. Now this is where you can take a product that was just released and simply add a case to hold that product and you can make a lot of money. And I haven't looked at this product specifically, but I already know, I've seen this a million times, whenever a new iPhone comes out, whenever a new phone, new product comes out, if you have a case to hold that item, you can, and if you're, one of the, if you're one of the first people to put that on Amazon, you can make a lot of money with it. So once again, we can look at the, we're gonna ignore the first sponsor, the first guy, a lot of reviews, 2000, then we have seven, 80 reviews. So it already drops off another over a thousand, over a thousand. This is not, um, this is not, we're not we're going to ignore him. 300, 250, 218. So there's lots of new players who are not doing a very good job. So we will, um, that is usually a good sign. When people are on Amazon and they're having products that are crappy, that is the perfect opportunity for you to come in, fulfill that demand, offer a very high quality product, which is very important if you skip that step, this will not work, but you offer a very high quality product and then you can come in and steal their sales. So we have overall revenue over a million. Search volume, 15,000. This is already looking very good. Um, average price, $41. Average reviews, 400. And once again, we're gonna come down to the review count relative to the revenue. So we have, we're gonna ignore these first two sponsored because they're paying to be in that spot. So the 2,000 review guy, he's making quarter million, seven, not, no data, 80 reviews, 105,000. This guy, 1,000, 173,000. And so we can already see that these two guys are 
taking up a majority of the sales, um, which is expected and which is usually not a great sign. But once again, we're going to keep looking. We have a third guy, almost 1,000 reviews, another 100,000. And so the smaller guys from 92 to 163, they have 71, 31, 40,000, 10,000. So even, even the newer players, they're still not... They're still making a decent amount of money, which is very um, good to look at. Um, the, these guys should not, if you launch this product, you shouldn't be expecting to make, you know, $100,000 a month because the new players are not making it. And so we're gonna be realistic. 11 reviews, 22,000, 100 reviews, 25 and 37. Go even further, 41 reviews, um, 30,000. 80 reviews, 19. 30 reviews, 10,000. So there's definitely money to be made in this niche. Um, the cocktail smoker kit keyword was a little bit more profitable um, in terms of the competition. But once again, we're going to collect, collect all the data and track it because we want to be tracking our data. Our keyword was there. The search volume was 15, I believe. And this is very important because once you're spending um, your hard earned saved money and you're going to invest in a product on Amazon, you want your first product to hit. You want it to set you up for success that will be able to pay all the future products. If you mess up this first product, you're gonna be in a mental state, a negative spiral down, Amazon doesn't work, this, this, that, I should've did this, just spend some more time. You wanna be making calculated um, decisions. You don't wanna be gambling your money away into hoping a product will sell. You wanna pick the very, very best product based on the number of competitors and how able you are to come in with your own product, make a better version, put your brand on it, and build a brand around this product. And that is very, very important. Once again, we're going to black box, we're using the keyword method, and we are putting in specific criteria, high searches, decent monthly revenue, a decent price. And we wanna see more competitors, at least two or more competitors having 10,000 per month, with um uh, with minimum with a maximum review count of 500 so you can come in and see potentially new keywords that have new products with new people who posted their products on that specific keyword who are making money if they're not new making money if they're old making money it doesn't matter because you can come as a new player so you need to see other new players who are already making money in the specific niche you want to come into that's very very important if you found any value out of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below because I will be dropping more and more content like this multiple times per week. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.